Hello friends, my name is Max Dendy and this is a review and my experience with Nintendo Switch OLED. I will tell you if it's worth it to upgrade from original Switch or buy it as a first console in 2022. Let's go! First of all, I want to say that this Nintendo console is finally a great balance between portability and stationary gaming. You know, I bought a Nintendo Switch Lite first and before that I was a PC gamer and I like the portability, but I still missed an option of playing on a big screen. So I tried the original Switch, but I ended up playing it only in a docked mode. You see, original Switch is bulky and the screen is not that bigger than Switch Lite. So when the OLED came out, I thought that maybe it's finally my console of choice. And yeah, it's fantastic. It feels as it should, 7 inch screen almost as large as the console itself. The console is bulky, but now justifiably. The screen is still 1280 by 720 pixels though. The image is less sharp and some games that suffer from low resolution may look even worse. But you forget about it when you see this striking contrast through black and vibrant colors. Some games now feel different and it can make you revisit all games and finish ones that you haven't finished before. That's how awesome this screen feels like after other switches. Here you can see for yourself, colors are way better and some games are highly dependable on it. Dungeons look as dark as they should and horror games are now more scary. Now, the second thing that I liked so much, because I actually started to use it, is a kickstand. Now you can adjust your console to any angle and because it's metal, it feels robust and reliable now. And of course you can use it on soft surfaces now. Not only the kickstand, but the frame around the screen is also metal now. And because of all this, this console feels more premium, whereas original Switch and Switch Lite feel more like a toy. So just for those two upgrades, you won't regret the purchase. But there are more improved details that may justify the upgrade from the original Switch. And it's an increased storage, improved Wi-Fi connection, improved speakers and the new good-looking dock station. Now it has a LAN port which you may need for a stable connection during online sessions. Also, the new system on chip and faster memory and of course improved battery life. The performance is still the same as other switches, but we'll talk about it later. Now, I want to mention things that I don't like about this console. And first, Joy-Cons. Nintendo doesn't want to admit that drift issue, maybe because they want to avoid the lawsuits or something else. In fact, these are the same Joy-Cons. They still drift and wiggle, and the console still doesn't feel solid enough because of it. Of course, the same Joy-Con grip that doesn't add too much of a comfort and doesn't allow you to charge the Joy-Cons. So I just personally use Nintendo Pro Controller, Xbox or PS5 controller with my Switch. Second is the dock station. It looks awesome, but using it feels annoying. It doesn't have rubber feet anymore and it slides on the table while being pulled by the weight of the cables. And this back panel now pops off completely and usually falls, so I use it without the panel or use the old dock. The main thing that is disappointing is the performance and it puts the switch to shame. The system on chip is Nvidia Tegra X1 Plus that is being used in second revision of Switch and in Switch Lite and is just an updated Nvidia Tegra X1 from original 2017 Switch. And there is no difference in resolution or frame rates in games. Maybe 5 years ago that was enough, but now the game library is way bigger and some ported games are just unplayable. I'm not asking a lot, but I would love to play at least Nintendo exclusives in 1440p or 4K. By the way, almost half of US households already had 4K TV in 2021, so come on Nintendo. Another problem which also applies to other Switches is the price of the games. Some of them have a hefty price even after 5 years since the release and you don't see that much of a sales on Nintendo Shop. Maybe because the new console performed the same as a 5 years old one, who knows. Anyway, my final thoughts. Although Switch OLED has some downsides, it is the perfect Switch. Yeah, there is a Steam Deck and other more powerful consoles, but nothing as unique as Nintendo Switch. Nothing except it will allow you to quickly pick up the console from a TV and continue playing in handheld mode. Nothing will allow you to share the game with your friends and family, not only at home, but also somewhere outside. So this big update with the screen and other minor updates, in my opinion, outweigh this extra $50. If you already have a Switch and enjoy it so much, the OLED will make you even happier. Upcoming Nintendo console might be tempting, but look at the release date of Nintendo Switch. New one may come out only by the end of the next year. Anyway, decision is up to you. I just wanted to help. That's about it. 
I hope you liked this video, stay safe and see you in the next one.